We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly. I remember actually seeing you on browsers and like seeing how incredibly popular your scenes were and thinking like, this is so great, you know, like seeing so much diversity come into these big brands. Yes. And you were definitely there at the helm of it. So do you feel like any sort of significance in your role in like pushing body diversity out into the mainstream porn world, as we call it? I definitely do. I mean, it was kind of a goal. It was something I, you know, had hoped to achieve. And I, I feel very fortunate that I was able to achieve it. Uh, there were several people who had tried in, in previous years over the time, and it just kind of was a one time and it died. The, the genre didn't really take off. And I am so happy to see that, you know, I've kind of stepped back from performing with studios and I'm now seeing these younger, beautiful women being cast and represented. And it seems to be going. And I'm so happy because it's like, fly, <laughs> fly, my girls, please. Cause I've, I worked for this and I, it's what I wanted. And, you know, I just, I wanted to show that there really was an audience. There was money to be made that people weren't tapping into. And I think I did a really good job of doing that. Do you have any inkling as to why you were able to kind of succeed in that area where other people did not? Um, I would like to think, I mean, that my, um, my reputation, as far as my work ethic, my attitude, um, you know, I have great representation as far as my publicist goes. And I think those things matter um, because I had someone behind me to say, who with a lot of credibility, who could say, no, she is really easy to work with. She has a great attitude. She's a hard worker. Um, and I think those before me, not that they didn't necessarily have the right attitude, but they might have had a little bit of bitterness chip on their shoulder. And I absolutely understand why. It's very easy um, as a marginalized, you know, community to feel a little negativity and apprehension, but I have always maintained to refuse that and, um, just show up with, I'm going to control the situation with my attitude and with my energy. And I think that showed in my performances. I showed with my male talent. I mean, all the amazing teams I've worked with at Brazzers, Reality Kings, you know, Bang Bros, everybody I've had the opportunity to work with has just been like, she's awesome to work with. And it's just a good attitude. And all I can hope is that the, the generations coming behind me are maintaining the same thing, that they are keeping a good attitude, showing a solid work ethic, you know, not showing up on drugs and uh, whatever, under the influence of anything. You know, I think all those things really matter. And when you really want to be represented and seen, you kind of have to go a little extra, and, you know, be on time and be ready and tested and clean. I've, I've heard so many stories of people just fitting into the fat stigma. And it's like, you don't do that, that mm -hmm. you're not going to get asked back. And I have always been beyond what, you know. Yeah. And it's like, it almost feels like you have two stigmas to push up against, right? So you say the fat Multiple. stigma, which you just said. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And then obviously there's like the sex worker stigma, which mm -hmm. is like all girls in porn are on drugs. Right. All of them are irresponsible. Or all, all of them are doing issues. daddy issues. I mean, look, don't we all have daddy issues? I mean, come on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. But I'm also dealing with ethnicity, you know, issues mm -hmm. and I'm dealing with age. You know, mm -hmm. I'm almost 50. Are you? Yeah. No and, fucking way. Yeah. And really? so, right. And so the teams are like shocked when I'm filling out paperwork. I'm like, they think I'm in my 30s. And I'm like, yeah, don't my daughter's about to turn 32. So I am, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm not saying I'm done, done, but like with that, like, here, let me shoot for everybody. It's like, yeah. ah, I just wanted to make this impact and kind of be on my way <laughs> yeah. doing my solo stuff or whatever I'm going to maintain, you know, as I'm getting older, just because, you know, as much as I still enjoy sex, I get exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> I don't have sex on camera. I'm 44 and I'm like, yeah, 10 minutes is fine. <laughs> as long as I'm not doing most of the work. Right, right. Let's let the guys <laughs> do all the work. No, yeah. um, I just, you know, there's just a time where you're just like, you know, I'm, I'm good. Like, I feel like I did what I was meant to do. Not necessarily what it came to do. It just kind of evolved into mm -hmm. a, a, a goal, personal goal, mission, a, 
a statement. Uh, so you feel satisfied with like what you set out to do? Because I find yeah, that- I would have liked more, mm-hmm. um, but I definitely opened the the road for everyone to do more. And I, I really hope, you know, things translate. Yeah. And, and cross over, you know, and keep going. Mainstream, we're a mainstream porn. Let's get mainstream everything, you yeah. know, and just make, and, and I don't want anyone to ever confuse when I'm talking about body positivity and um, self-acceptance and self-love. This isn't about just being fat. It's about all stigmatized groups. And I am not promoting an unhealthy lifestyle and obesity and that people often confuse it and want to, you know, just confuse the issues here. It's about having space to live as a human being in whatever phase of life you are in. You could be 300 pounds now and two years be half that and be society society accepted, right? But you're still fat to somebody. <laughs> and um, especially, you know, in Hollywood or LA, like it's, you're still, it's so it just, it's about giving pe- people the space to, to just live and be, be happy, yeah. you know, and, you know, who cares? It, it, and with less judgment, you know, yeah. I hear so many people say, I don't want to go to the gym because I feel judged. You're supposed to go to the gym to lose weight. And I understand that because I I feel the same way. Like, you know, I don't want them watching me. I'm just yeah. kind of making fun. I've seen people, you know, do the the videos and making fun of fat people while they're, they're at the gym. It's like, well, yeah. where are you supposed to go? I was like, I'm going to open a gym for people. <laughs> like, yeah. like, if you are a meathead, you're not allowed here. Right, right. <laughs> like, no gym rats allowed. Yeah. This is where people who actually want to be sweaty and, and gross and get dirty. and Going there for a purpose. Yeah, and not feel ashamed, you right. know? Right. We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly.